Last April, the Boston Globe Ideas section took Donald Trump at his word. On our section front, we published a satirical front page that tried to imagine how America would look if Donald Trump became president and tried to keep his promises. One year later, and 100 days into Trump's presidency, it's clear, in key ways, we were right. We predicted that Trump would make a big splash on immigration, and right from the beginning, he did. People who've lived here for years with their families are now being sent away. We predicted that Trump would try to undermine the free press, and he has. We didn't predict everything. We thought Trump's rhetoric against Wall Street and against trade would spook the markets. Instead, his promise to gut regulations had stocks soaring, at least for a while. We figured that he'd stir things up with China. We never imagined he'd get into fights with South Korea, or with Germany, or even Australia. But for Trump's critics, there's an odd silver lining. What our page didn't predict was how much trouble he'd have getting things done. His White House staff is split into factions. His cabinet is full of neophytes, some of whom know nothing about the agencies that they're overseeing. Ironically, Trump's inexperience is getting in the way of some of his worst instincts. Oh, and there's an important word that didn't appear on our page last year. Russia. Will Trump's ties to Moscow blow up his presidency or just blow over? We'll see.